Very. Good job. Very. Still got problems with COVID like that, for sure. Feels like my heart's about to beat out of my chest right now. I'll catch it. How are you feeling being here? Scared to death right now, honestly. Um, and I, I could not have done this without the people that are here with me. It would have been too hard. For, for two weeks, whenever they reached out to me and asked if I would come speak, um, my first thought was no, I can't do this. I can't go back. I can't do this. And then it was one of those things where I realized I've got to do this. You know, I can't go through the rest of my life knowing I didn't raise a hand to try to help people. I didn't raise a hand to try to help people who were um, dying. But I would, even then I would go back and forth. I would say, okay, we're going to do this. But then I would wake up in the night having another panic attack. And uh, I would tell Lori, I can't. I can't go back. And I would go back and forth like that over and over until Johnny said he would come, until... Joe said he would come, and then I thought, okay, well, I've got enough support around me, I've got enough family around me that I can go and do this. But th there's still a lot of fear. There is an incredible amount of fear for me for being back in the state, and I don't want to fear that. You know, that was another reason I, I wanted to come back is maybe hopefully this will allow me to get over some of the fear that sort of, you know, this is where I was born. And, and when this happened to me, it sort of stole home from me. It took my home away from me, so maybe hopefully this will bring you know, some sense of closure and resolve for that, and I won't feel the sense of fear and trauma when I think of Arkansas. <laughs>